let me talk about C++ container adapter called STDQ. STDQ is a STL container adapter which means it is a data structure created by adapting one of the sequential containers such as std vector etc while sitting on the top of the underlying sequential container stdq container adapter makes available only desired functionality of the underlying container and it also adds its own functionality q is a uh, first in first out fif for data structure it means uh, the element most recently inserted into q is the one that comes out of it first through its command called pop by default, uh, it is built on the top of uh, std dq sequential container. However, we can create a queue with other online containers uh, such as vector, list, for list, and dq. Uh, whereas uh, only list and dq have functions that support all the operations of queue. Let me jump into the coding to demonstrate it. To create a queue. You need to include library called Q and you can create a Q container. So to create a Q, uh, this is the syntax you want to use for, uh, to, for storing in type data. And if I call this, let's say I Q, it is a Q. This is a this will create an, an empty queue. Uh, let me first display its information through a function um, t void print constant t reference. Let me just uh, receive a copy of the object. And uh, if uh, this is uh, not empty, I would like to display a message indicating that it's empty. And return. Now, after that, uh, uh, I would like to access element one by one and um, just remove the element so while not uh, the while it is not empty that means while it, ha it still has uh, the data in it i would like to display the data from the front and I would like to remove that data right so in this case uh, this object is obviously empty so it should uh, if I call that function print function with this object iq so it should display this uh, empty string empty queue message so first let me show you that actually it displays this that messes oh i think there is typo issue again so m t so oh, i Let me get it. I expected it to display something here. Oh, I think I should have done differently. So, if it is empty, then I display it. So, that was uh, the problem here. Main empty queue expected. Uh, back to the code. Now I want to actually populate this queue with some data. Uh, the data, the function I want to insert it, I want to use to uh, insert data into the queue is uh, which is push. It's like uh, the same function that you use uh, 
in a stack so 25 and print right so let me see the output in this case I would expect uh, it's uh, not that message displayed MTQ but it would display uh, the data so in the next next case uh, it was 25 was inserted it was actually popped out now I push a uh, few more integers and say 30 which is 6 so when we display the first item pushed first will this get displaced first in the case of stack it would be if I uh, uh, pass this uh, at this point uh, 25 30 36 40 they are displayed they are actually pushed in the queue uh, in the case of a stack uh, when I call this print function with the stack it would actually display the 41st and 36 30 and 25 but in the case of queue it would display um, the 25 first right so so in this case um, I would see 25 30 36 40 in the output so 25 uh, 25 was the outcome of the first uh, invocation of print function then after that 25 30 36 40 so I would just write one so that uh, the data is actually written in different lines so but if I had uh, changed this to a stack let's say We had a different order in which the data uh, would be displayed. Uh, in the case of a stack, we cannot use this front function. We need to use uh, the function called top. So. So now you can see 40, 25, 40, 36, 30, 25. The 40 was inserted last, it came out first. 36 was uh, inserted second last, uh, so it came, came out second. But in the case of Q, 25 it came out first, 30 came out second, 36 and 40 in that order. So in addition to this, uh, uh, um, this um, properties of uh, Q, you, know, you can copy construct, copy assigned. For example, if you want to, let me uh, let me make it back. Uh, I mean, uh, switch it back to Q again because I'm actually talking about the Q, not a stack. So uh, this is going to be front, and the library I want to include here is Q, right? Now, if I want to copy construct from this uh, object, and uh, I have another object IQ3, and I push some items into it IQ3 dot uh, push 99. So now I copy assign. So print uh, IQ, print uh, uh, it's going to be IQ3. This was uh, created by through copy construction and uh, copy assignment IQUE3. Right, so IQ, IQ2, IQ3.
So, all these are actually copy constraints. So, I mean, ultimately, they are actually copied from the same data. So, you can see the same data being displayed here. So, 25, 30, 36, 40, 25, 30, 36, 40. So, these are the three things that was displayed. This was the source uh, object data, then uh, copy constructed object data and copy assigned object data. Uh, similarly, uh, it also supports a move uh, construction and assignment for, and I want to move uh, the original object IQ and let me create another object for move assignment 5 5 dot push 333 5 four, four, four. so let me first display uh, IQ 5 and then after that I will display all the objects that are involved in this uh, copy construction assignment so after that I would copy assign IQ5 equals to uh, let's say IQ2 now I'm going to be uh, printing um, all the objects that are involved IQ uh, IQ2 4 and 5 Print IQ E, print uh, IQ Q E 2, uh, 4, five. So IQ, IQ 2, Four and five. Let us see how it uh, how the how the out output uh, looks like. So uh, now you know. Oh, oh yeah, I think there was a small uh, problem here. So when we copy assign, we also need to. In this case, we passed uh, the R value reference, but uh, in this case, we didn't pass. So it eventually called copy. Const I mean copy assignment so for move assignment uh, we need to pass our value reference right. so now you can see mtq mtq those two items the source uh, uh, objects were empty and then the target uh, target objects actually got uh, the data that actually originally belong to the source objects so copy assigned from this object to this object let me see so it was copy assigned co copy const i mean move assigned from iq to iq4 and then from this object to this object iq2 to i5 so now the data was actually copied from uh, moved from this object to this object and this object to this object so this is uh, the move uh, semantics or move operations in action in the case of stdq so this is uh, all i want to talk in this video so thank you for watching